This is one of the most insane stories that I have seen in a very long time. California proposes withholding new tax credits from Hollywood productions unless they set ethnic, racial, and gender diversity goals and to develop a plan to achieve them. This is where we are getting at in our country right now, where now we are getting to the point that the government is going to be enforcing the woke agenda. The mask is coming off, and now everyone is starting to see that the woke agenda is nothing more than a political ideology, a new false religion that is pushing diverse or pushing not diversity it's pushing div division and that is exactly what they want they want you and me to be divided they want us to be fighting amongst ourselves and meanwhile they get to reap the benefits of it all it does is hurt all of us the people and it helps strengthen what they are doing they they see that there is a huge blowback that is happening to the woke ideology in the culture and so, what is the government going to do? They're going to start forcing this to be a thing. While it may not be illegal yet, California is taking its first steps to punish Hollywood projects that aren't woke enough to meet the ever-moving standards of progressives. And I don't think there's a lot of people that really realize just how dangerous the woke ideology really is. It really is dangerous. It is a... It is the 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 offspring of Marxism, communism, and if you go back and look at things like what you know, you know uh, Yuri Bezmenov has said in the past in like his interview, one of the best things that 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 has ever you know been recorded in my opinion. I think that in there you can really see that yes, the woke religion, the woke ideology is exactly what he was warning us about. In 2022, California voted to pass SB 485, which revised the state's film tax credits legislation to introduce a new credit, which could only be received if a given project provided a diversity work plan that includes goals that are broadly reflective of California's population but we all know they don't actually give a flying f about their people we see that happening literally just right in the streets of places like la you can see that they don't care they don't actually care the government isn't there to you know be your friend okay that's what they want you to think but it is absolutely not true and the more that we see type stuff like this we have to remember that what they want at the end of the day is more power over you. That's all they want. While the original bill held no specific penalties for productions that failed to meet these goals, the state's Democrat governor, Gavin Newsom, is now seeking to provide the state with the tools needed to enforce these new rules. At Epicverse, we have no plans to do any of that stuff. We're not going to be forcing diversity in our projects. And the crazy thing about it is that you guys haven't actually seen this yet, but you will. We are way more diverse at Epicverse than Hollywood ever has been. And it's not something that we had to work towards. It just happened, okay? We have more diversity in opinions, in beliefs, in skin color, whatever you want the metric to be. We are extremely, extremely diverse at Epicverse. But that wasn't something that we had to force to happen. It just happened because we all love storytelling and that is the thing that that is our common commonality at epic verse and we are united because of that we aren't seeking diversity we're seeking unification with what we are doing and that is a very very different mindset than those this woke nonsense that is continually being pushed in hollywood we need a drastic change in our culture okay we need people that are going to take a stand against stuff like this so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon bye